Alex on Plays and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today guys, I'll be showing you all how to make this super simple warped and crimson fungi farm inside of Minecraft. So if you like the sound of that, then please make sure to drop a like on it. And if you're at all new here, then please make sure to subscribe guys. But anyway, let's get straight into things. So, right here we have our, well, basically automatic uh, warped and crimson fungi farm and well for now at least uh, you do also get the warped and crimson roots however uh, in a future update I think they might be making these only available to collect with shears so those are only a temporary collection but for now we can get warped and crimson fungi from this and the way it works is underneath this build we have a timer and that goes off every couple of seconds and it will bone meal this um, warped nylium and crimson nylium creating all of this wildlife which then gets washed away by water so if I flick this lever up then I can fly up here and you'll see all of our stuff gets washed towards these hoppers there the water turns off more bone meal is dispensed and the system repeats itself so there we go, that's how it works. Now let me show you how you can build it yourself right over here. So the first thing we're gonna do guys is establish a kind of perimeter for it. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's the length of the bottom of this farm here. And we'll take it back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then on the other side, we're going to do the same kind of thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we should see those two halves looking pretty similar. Now, what we're going to do next is going to, well, we want to put two redstone here. Then grab a block up like here. Redstone here and a repeater on this block. And out of here we're going to get another block and this is going to be a circuit that will input uh, when we want the farm to stop running so we can grab our lever just like that and we're going to place it right there and this right here will turn off the clock that we're about to make so right now what we want to do is place a hopper here and well, we want to have two hoppers running into one another like that so you see they both feed into each other then we're going to grab five random items so one two three four five chuck those in one of the hoppers then place redstone dust on top of this one now what we can go ahead and do is just flick this lever so that it doesn't interrupt us when we're building the rest of the device so next what we're going to do is place a sticky piston here and here and then a redstone block between them uh, just about here then our next step is to take a comparator out of each side of this machine and have a block up here with redstone dust right there no, uh, actually redstone dust there with a block up here on the other side here what we're going to do is place two repeaters on three ticks in each direction running into a block and at this side we'll place one redstone dust and again two repeaters set to three redstone ticks running into a block so you should have something that looks a little bit like this right now next we're going to place uh, dispensers uh, by these blocks we put up and you guys will fill those with bone meal. For now, I'm just going to grab one stack for each of them. So one, two. Or oh, that's just that's just one. Oh no, that is two stacks. So we go one stack in this uh, dispenser, and one in this one. Then next, what we're going to do is build the nylium on top of these areas because this is most of the redstone already done. So let's go over here place in our nylium like this and yep 
just go over like this. I want to leave a gap right here at the front and right there is where we're going to place a hopper and that will be where all of the different items kind of just come and collect together so let's go like this I want to have one block at the gap that isn't um, taken up by the warped or crimson nihilium so right here on this side we're going to do the same again and leave a gap for the uh, hopper so let's just go like this fill in all this space and this will allow it to be easily bone mealed by the dispensers and have our crimson fungi and roots growing on top of it so there we go everything is completely sealed away now the next step is just to kind of build up some walls so that our water won't escape and I'm just doing it in um, red and uh, cyan concrete just so you can tell them apart there we go um, we kind of we can fill this in but we don't need to so I'm just going to do the bare minimum here so we got like that then across the back wall as well and this is this is kind of temporary you guys can use whatever blocks you want for this um, but I'm just using these uh, to make a quick example for you so we go like that I uh, may as well fill in some of this at the front just to make it look a little neater like that and now at the back here what we're going to do is punch out our holes at the back in each of these corners and fill those in with dispensers so let's grab a dispenser here place one here there and the other two holes we've just placed so that should be all good and that's the same as our farm over there now what I want to do is well save this for last actually you can do it now put a one water bucket in each of these dispensers so one two three and four and now we're getting up to the final stage I'm just going to grab some observers very quickly so right here we are going to put a line of blocks uh, behind these uh, dispensers like that and the same on the other side one two three four five we should see we have something a little bit like this next we want to grab our repeaters set them to two ticks uh, running in both directions like this and then we're going to grab our redstone and place it um, here and here we're going to place one here eventually but not yet until we have our clock well, uh, until we have our system fully running next what we want to do is grab a repeater coming out of this side of the clock and have a redstone line running on a bit like this there we go so we have it coming out two on the right side and three on the left then at the end of that we want to have a repeater set to three ticks and another repeater set to three ticks over here then we can go above this repeater with an observer just like that and same thing on the other side so observer placed down there now we can place in redstone on top of the observer and between the repeaters and we should see now wait, after one final thing we need to get our barrel and our hoppers so we're going to place our barrels right here in these gaps we've left ourselves and have a hopper running into it just there and the same through the side and now if we just flip the lever we should see that our farms begin working so the water is going to go off first and we should see hopefully there we go everything gets bone meal dispensed then our farms go ahead and collect all the resources with the water so there we go guys this is your really simple guide to a ton of crimson fungi and uh, mushrooms and warped fungi and roots. So there we go guys. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, then please make sure to drop a like in the video. And if you're at all new here, then please make sure to subscribe. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. This has been Kayla Trump, please. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.